you! The last 10 years have given us some of the greatest and most revolutionary horror films in history. With the release of cinematic horror game Little Hope spooking us just in time for Halloween, we've been thinking about what films of recent years have sent the most shivers down our collective spines. From iconic ghost stories, to scary romps, to creepy characters that have lived in our minds rent-free since we first saw them, here are IGN's 10 scariest horror films of the last decade. Whoever thought loud noises were the key to making us jump clearly hadn't seen A Quiet Place. The 2018 thriller, directed by and starring John Krasinski, tells the story of a post-apocalyptic world where humans are being preyed on by blind alien monsters with super-sensitive hearing. We follow a mother and father trying to protect their children by staying silent to hide from the monsters. The movie takes inspiration from the likes of Ridley Scott's Alien and is just as terrifyingly tense. The scares will keep coming into the next decade too, as the delayed sequel is now set for 2021. Someone once said the mark of a true pop culture icon is that you can dress up as them for Halloween. If that's true, then The Babadook is as iconic a modern classic as they come. This Australian arts horror film favours psychological horror over cheap jump scares and has given us a new horror creation we haven't been able to stop thinking about ever since. The result is a truly scary movie. Even William Friedkin, director of The Exorcist, has said, I've never seen a more terrifying film. Now those are creepy credentials. Jordan Peele's Get Out is not only one of the scariest films of the last 10 years, it's also one of the most revolutionary, reflected in the fact it was nominated for four Academy Awards, including Best Picture, which is usually unheard of for horror films. Telling the story of black American Chris, who visits his white girlfriend Rose's family and discovers a horrifying secret, the movie explores themes of racism, slavery, and trauma through an unflinching horror lens. In Get Out, the horror villains aren't otherworldly monsters or extraterrestrials or escaped psychotic serial killers, but smiling, middle-class white liberals, and it proves that that can be scarier than anything. Hereditary takes well-trodden horror tropes like hidden family secrets, grief, and creepy kids, and explores them in such a new, haunting, and well-crafted way you'll be thinking about it long after the credits roll. Hereditary also marks the expert directorial debut of Ari Aster, who arguably shaped what horror cinema became this past decade, as he also went on to direct mega-hit Midsummer the following year. Which brings us to... The scariest horror isn't all about deep, dark alleyways and things that go bump in the night. Sometimes it comes in the form of a bright, floral, summertime Swedish death cult. As with the best horror films, the terror is centered around an emotional, relatable theme. In this case, a breakup. Thankfully, the pagan cult rituals that bring the horror are a bit less relatable to most. When English settlers in 1600s New England lose their baby during a game of peekaboo, as in he literally disappears, a witch is blamed for stealing their child. What follows is a classy horror film of paranoia, puritanical patriarchy, and power, where scares are created by the claustrophobic candlelit ambience and unsettling camera direction rather than traditional jumps or monsters. The slow building horror it creates just makes the movie all the more chilling. Horror movies have a long history of using sexuality against their coming-of-age teen heroes, or rather, their victims. It Follows takes this idea and turns it on its head. The movie follows a teen girl, played by one of the decade's leading scream queens, Micah Monroe, who is pursued by a supernatural force passed on to her after a sexual encounter. The threat can appear to her as anyone, and will be seen walking towards her but only she can see them. If they reach her, they'll kill her and pursue the previous person to pass on the sexually transmitted apparition. While sex brings on the ensuing terror of the movie, it's also the way our hero can find a way out from the nightmare in this trope-twisting thriller. This movie adds a whole new level of horror to checking your rearview mirror. If you've ever had to navigate the dingy corridors of a local nightclub, you'll understand how stifling a situation it can be. That's made a lot worse when you're on the run from murderous neo-Nazis, like the heroes of Green Room. Violent and vicious, Green Room stars Anton Yelchin as a member of a punk band who finds himself, with his bandmates, on the wrong side of a terrifying white supremacist gang at a gig gone wrong. The horror is visceral, bone-crunching, and chillingly realistic. Patrick Stewart uses his follically challenged talents as the movie's villain, the terrifying, threatening leader of the skinhead gang. 
If you think you've been to some anxiety-inducing awkward dinner parties, wait until you see the invitation. When a man receives an invite to a dinner party from his ex-wife, all is not quite what it seems, and the invited group are brought together for one seriously traumatic meal. It's an endlessly watchable horror mystery, and the smart scares also invite an extra knife turn in the gut thanks to a killer twist. Following on from their collaboration on 2013's Evil Dead remake, director Fede Alvarez and producer Sam Raimi reunited for Don't Breathe, a film that crafts its scariest moments from real-world suspense rather than supernatural effects and buckets of blood. Taking the idea of a home invasion horror and building on it in a way that's satisfyingly simple, the film follows three friends who try to break into a blind man's house, but instead get trapped inside it. The result is one of the scariest films of the last 10 years and beyond. So, do you agree with the list? Is there a horror movie that gave you nightmares that you think should be in there? Let us know in the comments below. And for more on horror movies and games, stick with IGN.